All right, hello everybody, my name is Stress, and today I am going to teach you how to publish your levels, save them, and load them up. As well, I'm going to show you how to make a new empty blank canvas, and you do that by pressing the new button. Confirm, and there you go, you have your empty level. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a quick example. It's not actually going to be a very interesting level, but we'll just place down, uh, what's a triangle, interesting. And there you go, and just for the sake of it, I want to show you guys how to save it. So. Right here we have our level and I'm going to go ahead and go to the save button and then we can just type our name. So we do shapes as the name and then description, a nice arrangement of shapes. There you go. Now we can go ahead and save the level by clicking save and that is it. My level is now saved. So whenever I open up a new level uh, and I say, okay, I want to go on with that old one, I go to load and I load shapes and there it is. Something very interesting about the way that Jolly World saves levels is that you can actually make your own thumbnails. So as you can see right here, I've made this little logo for the level. And now if I go to save, I can go ahead and click to add a thumbnail. My save settings are already here because I loaded up the level. So we click to add a thumbnail. Uh, we select this part. And now as you can see, this is going to be the thumbnail of my shapes level. I can then just click save to update it and there you go. Okay, what if I wanted a second version of the level where I added another box, in this case, a blue box. Now let me show you what happens when you press save if you uh, adapt the name. If you go to load now, there is shapes too, but there's no normal shapes anymore. So just to make sure you know this, it doesn't save as a separate level when you just change the name of your level. If we would actually want to make a second version of the level, uh, so in this case, let me add another box. So this is going to be version two with two boxes. I'm gonna go to save and then we are going to do uh, shapes, well three in this case then. And we do save as, and that's it. And we just press new. So now if I go ahead and go to load levels, there is shapes two and shapes three. I'm now going to take you to my level island jump, which I published a bit ago, and I'll walk you through the process of how to publish the level. I'm going to go ahead and go to the save button, but this time we are going to press publish. That's it. We just click yes, and then we get like a little celebration and everything. And as you can see, this means that my level has been published. So now if you would like to find your level that you just published, all you have to do is go to your profile over here in the main screen of Jolly World. You click it, and then if you press levels right here, you can actually see the level that you published. Now down here, you're gonna see like a leaderboard. So in my case, I just left a replay, finishing the level in 17 seconds, uh, as well as the video that I linked to it. So you can see the video right here and it gives you the option to subscribe, watch it on YouTube, all that stuff. So if you are a YouTuber and you would like to link your videos, that is a great opportunity. Now you can rate the level here, like, dislike, all that, share the level, favorite it. And if I go ahead and favorite it, what you will see is that right now, if I go to my profile, it will also be among my favorite levels. So this was my quick little tutorial on how to publish, load and save levels. I hope it was helpful for you. And I look forward to seeing what you guys are going to make in the Jolly World game. See you guys next time. Bye.